This is Jessica with cutesycrafts.com. I had a reader that was working on this blue floral embroidery hoop. You can find the pattern for this on my blog. And um, she wanted to know how to make these small leaves here. The stitch that I used was kind of hard to explain. I couldn't really find a name for it. So on the pattern, it's called a straight stitch but it's really kind of a combination between a fishbone stitch like these here and just some straight stitches. So rather than try to explain what that actually is, I figured I would just show you. To start this stitch, take your needle up from the tip of the leaf, just like you would a fishbone stitch. And instead of just going one stitch length down, we're gonna go all the way down almost to the bottom of the leaf probably about one stitch length away from the bottom of the leaf. And then just like a fishbone stitch again, you're gonna come in slightly to the right and down that side line of your leaf. And instead of going down further on this line, I'm just gonna take it back in the same hole. And then I'm going to come in from the left side. And then again back down in that hole. So just continue doing that on either side, just like a fishbone stitch. But you're just bringing it back down all the stitches in that same hole. And then just when that hole seems to feel like it has a lot of thread going into it, and I know it's kind of subjective, I like to just kind of take it down one more stitch at the bottom here. And then that's the new hole that I'm gonna be stitching down into. Stitch in that one a couple times and then go down to the very bottom of your leaf. And go in that same hole a couple times. And then finish off your leaf with a couple more shorter stitches at the very bottom. And there you go. So like I said, sort of like a fishbone, but just with that longer stitch at the top and then just a shorter amount of um, stitches down here. So only like three spots that you're bringing your needle down into the bottom. So again, I will just show you how to work the stitch once more in this other leaf. This leaf here is a little bit asymmetrical, so I'm doing a couple more extra stitches or maybe just one more stitch on this side to make up for that. So that's how you would make the tiny leaves on this hoop, and I'm sure that I will be making them like this again because I really like the way that they turned out. Leave me a note in the comments if you know what this stitch is called because I really don't know what to call it on my patterns. Like I said, I'm calling it a straight stitch for now, but it's kind of a fishbone stitch, kind of a satin stitch. Um, maybe I should just make up a new name for it, like a small leaf stitch. I don't know. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think I should call this in my patterns.